What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 5 different ways how to fix your preview quality play black lag in Vegas Pro 16. Now the steps I'm going to be showing you are 5 different ways, and I'm not going to promise they work, however, I will say there's a 90% chance they will work. Now if there's a step that I've missed in this video, or a different method I've missed, definitely leave it in the comments below, because of course it will help others out as well. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16. I have my previous video, which is the edited version. And what you want to do is right click your video preview, select video preview preferences. From here where it says dynamic RAM, you want to change this from 200 to zero. Now this will help dramatically. So just do that. And then where it says GPU acceleration of video processing, notice mine is set to off. Now it is recommended you actually select your graphics card uh, this one would be my in my case. However, in my opinion, I've found that it lags more when using my graphics card. So this part here is trial and error. I can't give you a right or a wrong answer. If yours is off, try it on. If yours is on, then try it with off. It might work. Then what you want to do is just select apply and OK. That's the first way. The next way is the most simplest way is just changing the preview quality. So when you play it back, Notice how much it lags, and that's because over here we have it set to best and full. What you can do, and what I recommend you do, is first of all change it to best and auto. You can see it still lags, then go to good and auto. Try it again. Still lags, preview and auto. And you can see that's now better, it's able to edit. Now bear in mind, this is the preview quality, so when you render it, it will be in full HD. Before you render, just make sure you change that back to best and full. The next step you can actually do is pre-render your files. So if I zoom in, and we're going to highlight the first two where I show the example. So to do that, just double click one clip and drag the loop region over it, like this. What you then want to do is head over to Tools, and then what you want to do is clean up pre-rendered video. Just simply select OK, then head back over to Tools, then you want to select Selectively Pre-Render Video. And it's going to come up as a normal render, just pick your normal settings, simply select Render. This will begin. Now this is going to be the slowest way, you can ignore this even though it's messed up, it will turn out normal. Um, this is going to be the slowest way, but it's also going to be the best way, because this will guarantee no lag. However, basically what it's going to do is render the video, and you can see it's only a 12 second clip, it's taking about 30 seconds. So it's gonna be time consuming to do, but if you wanna do it this way, then I recommend, say for example, leave this on overnight. When you wake up in the morning, you can edit with no lag. Now the next thing we're gonna be doing is heading over to options, and what you wanna do is go to preferences, but don't click it just yet. What you wanna do is hold control and shift and select preferences. Now what this is gonna do is open up the internal tab over here, so select that, and where it says show only prefs contained, just simply search for uh, multi. If you're American, I say multi, and then select space. So you put multi, multi, space, and you can see it says enable multi stream render. It's gonna be set to false by default. Simply come here, double click it, just type in true, select enter, select apply, and okay. That's another way done. And there's one last way I'm going to be showing you, right click your preview screen again, come to video preview preferences, this time go to the preview devices, and where it says optimize GPU display performance, just uncheck this. Now this means it won't be doing two things at once, so you can uncheck it. This one should work dramatically as well. Another thing, here it says recompress edited frames, uncheck that, and you're done. Select apply and OK. So there are five ways you can prevent preview lag. Like I mentioned at the start, it's not guaranteed. And if there's one that you recommend to use, then just leave it in the comments below. And of course, it will help others out as well.